So folks, Dion put out some content the other day about the biggest flaw in the retirement system. I actually want to build on that. I want to twist on that and really talk about what I think are kind of some of the challenges, problems with the idea of retirement, right? We all hear about this. As soon as you join the workforce, we're building a 401k. We got IRAs. We're doing all of this. We are all working towards retirement. And I think there's a lot wrong with that. Uh, so Dion, uh, let's play the game of ping pong where we go back two or three times. And of course, we will end on the, what you believe the biggest flaw is. But what are some of the things wrong with this vision of retirement? So there are a lot of flaws with retirement. And then I kind of had the epiphany the other day of, of what I think is the largest, the biggest mistake that all of us make. And if we can make a mental shift, it fixes a lot of that problem. But let's let's go with one I have experience with. And, and I don't want to say don't have a retirement account, like a 401k or a Roth or, or any of those kind of things. It's it's understand what it is. The flaw is people think the 401k is to help you retire. And what the 401k is, is it a re, an employee retention program for your employer. And literally a way for the government to make more money in taxes on your investments. Because people plan on retiring broke and they plan on taxes being less in the future. But the 401k, <laughs> right, because they haven't met the government, yes. the, the, the 401k, uh, most of us don't retire poorer than we are, right? Like If you look at the statistics of what people make every decade yeah. of their life, you end up making a lot more to, in, later in life. So that doesn't mean you're going to pay less money on 401k. Now, the Roth, you, you might have, you know, better tax advantages, not, nothing like real estate. But that's the first flaw is thinking that the retirement program benefits the investor and really what it does, the employee employee retention with the employer the government's going to make their money in taxes and the people who run the accounts are going to make money whether you make money or lose money so the three people yeah. benefiting from your retirement account isn't you yeah the one the one that i jumped to in the kind of this conversation is uh and i met a lot of people like this because again i've always been intrigued by money it was it was a scarce thing i always wanted security so i've been i've been around building wealth as long as I can remember, my my mother tells stories of me as a teenager, you know, trying to figure out ways to to grow, and um, it's always been this idea for most people, at least my impression of most people is, I'm good, I got a four hundred one k, I'm like what, is four hundred one k guarantees a wonderful retirement? When did that happen? I'm like it might. I mean, you could certainly read the articles, and if you catch the market right, and you don't retire in a bear market, it might work out. But I can't tell you how many people just nonchalantly say I'm they're going to just say I'm going to have a wonderful retirement because I have a 401k. I'm like, huh? And oh, by the way, the other thing. No, oh, this is an oh, I'll save this for next one. This other one is shocks me. I don't want to jump ahead. What's number two for you? It broke your brain. Nice. Oh, I did. it. I want to almost spit it out, but I saved it. <laughs> so to, so to just touch on your 401k a little bit is most of the employees that I've worked with over the last several decades took it out whenever they had a life event. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, um, but here's, here's, here's the biggest. So the idea that the government will take care of us is yeah. so prevalent that the federal agency of economic accountability did a study and they came out with 48% Oh, no. Of United States citizens between the age of 55 and 65, no, 55 and 60. It's one of those two. They're over 55. So these are the people on the cusp of retiring. Yeah, right there. Yep. Don't even have a 401k and have zero saved for retirement. The, the mentality has to be somebody's going to take care of me. Other words, people would have taken action. That's That's literally almost half of the people at the age of retiring have zero oh. sets mind bottling oh that is frightening so where i was going before i was able to save myself is so again you're you're in this camp where 401k is magically going to take care of you it could it might but where i was going to go to next every person that i've had this conversation with except one will admit they have not looked at their 401k allocations, funds, ever since the day of selection. You mean to tell me you've been in your 401k for 12 years 
and you haven't gone in and adjusted what funds are. You got into that when you were 26, when you were young and aggressive. You know what? You are 45 now. You might have a different life event going on. Go own that chain. If the 401k is your magic thing, do the work. Oh my gosh. Go in and change allocations or funds or whatever. But your risk profile at 45 is not like at 25. It it drives me insane. This is your saving grace. And you haven't looked at it. I I don't understand. I'm confused. I'm no. perplexed. One of the problems I see is with our social security program. Okay. It's something you contribute to for decades, three or four in most cases. Mm -hmm. And then the amount that you get out of it isn't enough to cover average rent currently. And most, <laughs> it's not. Ouch. And most people, in the most people in the United States right now believe that the government, out of its kindness, put together a social program called Social Security, mm. intending for older people to be taken care of. And that's actually not why it started. The, the advent, the inception, the creation of Social Security started in Germany over a century ago. So like a long time ago, because old people weren't leaving the workforce. Yeah. So you had a younger generation that Coming couldn't in, yeah. find jobs. So you had social problems because like the Clockwork Orange movie, when young people don't have something to do, they do bad things, right? Mm -hmm. So in Germany, they came out with a program where if you're older... We will pay you to leave the workforce right. to make room for younger workers. It's an, it's an idea that people think is to take care of us when we're older, but really it's to get us out of the workplace. And it isn't enough to cover average rent. Yeah. yeah it's really funny. Um, you know, I, you're, you're Gen X like I am. Is that right? So I don't know if this happened to you, but this is so I, I roll into the workforce, my first full time job. I'm 23, 24. I'm an accountant. And, um, you know, like most organizations, you know, the senior accountants and all of these are just older folks. Right. They've been in the game. I remember one lunch conversation I had with one of them. Um, and I don't know how we got onto this, but somehow we got there and, and it was a she. Uh, I think her name was Carol. Carol laughed at me. And basically, this all boiled down to Social Security. And where this basically went is Carol, and again, at the time, I believe this as well, Carol was laughing at me because I was 25 contributing to Social Security out of my check every every two weeks or a month or whatever it was. And it wasn't going to be solvent when I was 65. So Carol, on the cusp of being 65 in retirement, is like, thanks, kiddo, for funding my retirement. So again, as a Gen Xer, we de we've been funding it every paycheck and we were promised. We, I was told repeatedly it's never going to be there. So I've always like, I always thought that was like, so that's why I've always tried other things. Cause I have never thought I never expect to see a penny from social security. Others depend on it. Like, I don't know how many, what percent of people are like, if I don't get my social security, I can't live. I'm like, I never counted on it. So I don't plan on it. So that's, that's kind of my final one. The, the the step on the uh, of the social security when i get the question should i take it at 62 or 67 i say the most important thing is to make it not matter yeah, it exactly. that because it's not going to be there. that is literally both sides of the current government's slush fund not used for retirement mm -hmm. so <clears throat> I'll, I'll i'll point out one more and then i'll wrap up with what i think is the actual biggest flaw with our current retirement scam i mean system we are indoctrinated from a very young age, unintentionally. I don't think this is an intentional thing. But when we are five to 10, most of our time, most of our awaking hours are spent in a classroom where the focal point of the classroom is the teacher. That's why so many kids in the, you know, third to sixth grade want to be teachers. It's the coolest person they can think of. That person makes all the rules, has all the control. And then you get older Power. and you realize yeah. there are some other fields out there you might work in. But teachers have pensions. So our, our introduction to the workforce is a teacher works. Our parents go to work, but we don't see them every day. We see the teacher working every day 
And we talk from our perspective. If we talk to people, we're going to talk financial freedom and rentals. If somebody isn't really into classic cars and you start talking to them, everything's going to be about the age of the vehicle, how you update it, all those kind of things. A teacher, anytime work comes up, is going to talk about the power of a pension. The power of getting all these student loans that absolutely don't matter. Rack up hundreds of thousands if you want, because if you work for the government for a certain number of years, it all goes away at a certain age. That presentation sets us up as kids to think that the, a pension, which doesn't exist in most fields, can be insolvent, can be frauded, right? Can the company, the agency that's doing it can file bankruptcy. There are municipalities that have had to file bankruptcy and not pay pensions or pay percentages of pensions. So we're set up for that. But that's all of everything that we've listed isn't the biggest problem to me. The biggest problem with our retirement system is that everyone asks the wrong question. People ask, should I have a 401k? Because at 59 and a half, I get these tax benefits. They say, if I um, am going to take social security, should I do it at 62 or 67? Like they have all of these questions that ask how old um. the right question is how much. And, and it's, that. And when you start with a new investor, you say how much they're going to name a number, a million, 10 million, 5 million, 250,000, whatever their number is. But we know, and we're educating people that that number is actually a monthly amount of income that comes in that you don't have to sell your life for one hour at a time, that cash flow from assets. If we can get people thinking how much and get age out of it, like who came up with the arbitrary number of 59 and a half for retirement accounts to have a benefit? Yeah. Right. When they look at the statistics and say, wow, 12 percent of the people out there die by the time they're 59 and a half. So let's do that. And we make 12 percent of all that income is ours. Or do they just say, if you put this money behind this paywall in a, in a retirement account, we're going to take 10 percent. If you take it, out. who's we who's getting the 10 percent? Where's the penalty go? And why would they you know, the system is existing to take money from you. And then the, this is how bad the, the question is when we say how old. Instead of how much. Right now, people watching this video, go to your little Google search bar, type in riots, friends. Yeah. They're changing the age, the age, not the amount, from 62 to 64. Or they're talking about it because I don't live there. I don't know what's really going on. And, you know, everything on the internet is true. Abraham Lincoln said that. Yeah. So, <laughs> Yeah. Um, Abraham Lincoln said everything on the internet is true. Is true. I like it. I like it. Thank I like you. it. So <laughs> people watching this video start thinking how much. Start acquiring cash flowing assets. Make the age at which you take Social Security almost irrelevant. Relevant, because that money exactly. shouldn't matter because it might not be there. Your retirement account can lose money. Mine is down 24% this year. Yay. Hey, I have the little ouch. bit that I have left in there that I haven't taken out this year because I don't have a W-2 job anymore. So it'll be in a nice low tax bracket. Um, and I hope this video at least made you think Me too. how much, not how old. Folks, that, we're, that is what we're about at One Rental at a Time. Our experience is obviously real estate. If it's dividend stocks for you or businesses that you own or royalties from whatever it is, it's how much. Once you get around how much, it's a very, it's, age shouldn't matter. Dion, thank you for breaking my brain. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to ask my team to bleep out my little rant f word in the middle i'm sorry about that i try not to do that but i got a little excited uh dion you're amazing where can people find you and again tell them the website for the binder strategy that people need to get for free thank you you can find me right here on youtube dion talk financial freedom and i've put out the binder strategy course how to get your tenants to ask you to raise the rent the course is free it's at www you have to type those in because i haven't fixed it yet dot dion talk dot com slash binder Awesome, buddy. Thanks again. Ciao.